Hi, I'm Amber Adrian, and this is a video on tapping, specifically tapping for anxiety. And this is specifically for a friend's mom because my friend asked if I knew anything about uh, if I had any like resources for this and nothing jumped to mind. So I thought, all right, I will make one <laughs> and see if that helps. Um, so Kyla's mom, hi, I hope this helps. Um, and for anybody else who ends up watching this, I hope this serves you. So tapping um, is sometimes called EFT, emotional freedom technique. It's also used in uh, body talk, which is both are very powerful modalities. Um, and a lot of people have experienced really profound shifts in their experience using this technique. So the way that I personally use it, I've used it in different ways. I tend to use it um, by tapping over my head because basically what that does when you tap, you know, when you tap the top of your head, it sort of resets your brain. Um, and that can be really powerful because our brain is the most uh, <laughs> potent contributor to our anxiety. Um, I know that when I can calm my thoughts, when I can calm my brain, my anxiety drops by like 75% in a hot second. So that's been basically the, uh, the goal of my life. Um, so tapping over your head basically resets your brain and then tapping over your heart kind of really just grounds it in. Um, it sort of like magnifies the effects of what you're doing. So you can also tap on a bunch of different points. You can tap, you know, on your head, on your temples, under your eyes. This is actually a whole sequence that um, is used in EFT. So you tap head, under the eyes, there, there, you can tap here, you can tap under your armpits, um, under your breastbone. And so you can do whatever really feels good to you. Um, I've seen people like walking down the street in San Francisco, like doing the tapping. It's like, yeah, go. Um, <laughs> so anyway, what we're doing when we're tapping, and there are multitudes of things that you can do this with, um, you can do this for physical ailments, you can do this for anxiety, you can do this to help you reprogram your brain around specific beliefs, um, you know, maybe beliefs around self-worth or around money or around anything that feels like it's a source of, of um, anxiety for you. So let's take a moment and just sort of We'll ground where I'm sort of, I'm starting to uh, combine modalities here. So one of the things that I work with is energy healing. And so I'm going, and I've never done this before, so we'll see how it works. Let me know if it does. Um, I'm going to sort of try blending some energy healing with some guided tapping, um, specifically for anxiety. So let's see, let's see how this works. So let's just take a moment before we start tapping. Take a few deep breaths. Feel yourself landing in your body. Know that you are safe here. You are supported. You are loved. You are taken care of. And so from this place, just feel those waves of love and support and peace just washing over you, sinking into your energy, filling your system. And if you can hear the screams of joy <laughs> from those children across the creek because I did not shut my sliding glass door. Hopefully that helps rather than hinders this process. Um, all right. So from here, let's do a round of the full tapping. So starting with your head, just keep taking deep breaths. I know that I am safe. You can either say this with me 
or just listen as I speak. I know that I am safe. I know that I am loved. I know that I am taken care of. I know that there is nothing that I need to worry about. I know there is nothing that can harm me. I forgot to mention you can also tap um, your wrists and this part, this fleshy part of your hand. I know that I am safe, loved, and taken care of. I know that I am a cosmic being and there's nothing here that can diminish my power, my ability, or my light. I know that I am free. I know that I am abundant. I know that I am supported in all things. I know that what I do makes a difference. And I know that there are people here who love me so deeply. I know that I am loved by God, by my guides, by the world, by my family, by my friends. And if I ever feel overwhelmed or unsupported, I can just tune into that wave of love and feel it bolster me. I know there's nothing I can do wrong. I know there's nothing I have done wrong. And I know that if there are places where I'd like to improve, I can do so with ease and grace and joy. Just keep tapping in whatever way feels good to you. And just allow this idea of love and support and joy to move through your system. Allow this peace to sink in to your heart, into your brain, into all the cells of your body. So from here, let's just switch to the head and the heart tapping. Since you really like all the tapping, do whatever floats your boat. I know that I am doing everything right. I know that I can do nothing wrong because right and wrong don't exist because in the higher planes, the planes that I can tap into so easily, there is no judgment. There's only experience. There's only learning. There's only love. So I feel myself surrounded and held by that love and supported by that peace. Okay, so just take a few more deep breaths. And just feel, feel your energy moving and shifting and just feel this settle in because what we've just done there is we have 
reprogrammed our brain and our body to accept this truth because all of that is the truth and it's only our brain that you know says otherwise because you know our brains do that sometimes it's okay you just send the brain hamsters to sleep thank you brain hamster that's enough go take a nap here's a hammock and you can you can do that with anything um one of the techniques that the emotional freedom technique people use <laughs> is to tap while saying you know whatever's running through your head whatever anxious thoughts are running through your head whatever worries you can say like even though I am worried about you know paying my bills I love and accept myself or you know while you're tapping or even though I'm afraid for my health I love and accept myself, even though I'm afraid for my family member's health. I love and accept myself. Whatever the, the fear, the worry, the thing that wakes you up at three o'clock in the morning, whatever that is, you can tap and say, even though belief anxiety, I love and accept myself. Or whatever, you know, you can use whatever wording feels good to you. You can literally tap and say anything. Um, and then as you kind of tap through the anxieties and the worries, and you can do this in your head, you know, if you have like your husband or your wife in bed with you and you don't want to wake them up by, you know, quoting a litany of worries at two in the morning, you can just, you know, you can tap very quietly and say this in your head. Um, and so as you work through the you know, the fears, the anxieties, they, they do calm, um, they do start to ease. And then you can begin tapping on the more positive things that you're, you know, you're kind of inserting in place of those worries, um, you know, which may be, you know, even though I'm worried about, you know, paying my rent, I love and accept myself. I know that I've always been able to take care of myself financially. I've never not paid my rent. And, you know, you can just sort of move through um, whatever more positive belief, you know, I know that I'm abundant. I know that I'm supported. I know that things always come through for me. Um, and you can really just move through it and essentially reprogram yourself um, to know, you know, with the truth, because whenever our brain is saying something that doesn't make us feel good, that's actually not the truth. That is a fear program. That's our, you know, our ego trying to protect us. That's, you know, a place where somebody else's fear or belief kind of got under our boundaries and took root. And we can clear that out and replace it with the truth. And as you clear those worries and anxieties, the truth starts to become more apparent. Like, oh, of course, this isn't really, this isn't a problem. I know that everything will be fine. I know that even if it isn't fine, I will meet the challenge with grace and love. I know that, you know, everything is working out in my highest good um, and in the highest good of all, whatever, you know, whatever, whatever shows up. Because as we clear, like basically we're clearing away the layers. We're lifting off the layers of fear and anxiety so that the truth our heart knows, the truth that your inner wisdom knows, the truth that your higher self knows, that can then come through. And you can program that into your brain, your body, and your emotions in a way that really serves you. Um, so let's see what else might be helpful and useful here. Okay, so since this is specifically um, about anxiety, we're going to throw in some of my own um, favorites. So this is going to be a bit of an energy healing for anxiety. And so you can basically, this healing is getting encoded into this YouTube video, I guess is where I'm going to put this. And so it will, you know, it, it kind of steps out of space and time. So whenever you watch this, or if you watch this again, you can receive new layers of this healing. Um, whenever you watch this, you will receive this and you may feel quite a lot. You may not feel anything either way is perfect. 
Um, it may trigger some emotions, but that's that's beautiful because then those emotions can clear and be, you know, just another layer that's lifting off so that you can feel lighter. You may feel much better. That will be my intention. Let's just set the intention that this energy healing help whoever watches it feel better, receive the guidance and the healing and the love that they are needing and desiring in this moment so that they can feel better and more supported as they go about their day in their life. Okay, so just setting that intention and knowing that even if things do come up after or during this healing, that's perfect because it's just coming up to leave and it will make room for a lighter, kinder, easier experience. So let's just take a few breaths. Okay. We're in a circle of protection, of healing, of transformation. Okay, so what's lifting off now is anything that does not belong to you, any energy, any emotions, any feelings, any thoughts, any worries that don't belong to you. Those are going now, those are clearing lifting away, being returned to the light, to their origin, so that you don't have to carry them anymore. Okay, good. And now from here, there's a wave of love moving into your heart, into the base of your skull right here. And it's like golden light moving through, like into the base of your skull here and up through your head, almost like it's coating your brain in gold. And this is to help quiet your brain, quiet any fears or worries or anxieties that are coming up and help them transform. It's almost like the golden light is coating each worry, each fear, so that it can't harm you, it can't get to you. So as these fears and worries and anxieties are being coated in gold, it's like they're funneling back down your neck and into your heart where they will be transformed, held, released. Your heart is a really beautiful place to drop any thoughts, fears, worries, anything that doesn't feel good when you think it. Imagine it funneling into your heart, dropping into the well of your heart, moving through your heart, because your heart can take care of all of that. Your heart will clear, release, and transform anything you don't need, and it will hold anything you do need. If there's, you know, if there's some piece of those worries or fears that you do need, your, your heart will hold it and shift it into something that you can receive guidance from, you can receive inspiration from, so you can take whatever action is needed. So nothing's being lost. You know, you're not bypassing anything. You're just moving it through your heart because your heart knows how to take care of it. Your heart, you know, our brain, when our brain thinks something, it just it, it swirls around in the echo chamber and it just gets louder and louder because our brain doesn't really know how to process it. Our brain can identify it, but it can't process it. But your heart can process it. So just imagine funneling all of those fears, worries, anxieties, anything that isn't any fun, <laughs> doesn't really take care of you or serve you. Funnel that into your heart. Good. Good. And so as your heart clears, releases, and transforms all of that, you might just sort of feel your shoulders dropping. Breathe into your belly. Feel the air circle through your body, 
clearing anything from your physical form. You might even imagine your breath moving from your lungs down your torso, into your hips, down your legs, into your feet, and then coming back up your legs, up your back, into your heart. And you can imagine your breath moving up your neck, into your head, and back down to your lungs again. Send your breath through your arms, into your hands. This is your breath clearing anything, anything physical that doesn't particularly serve you. Okay. Okay, so it feels like that's good. Looks like the energy healing will keep moving through this video. Because I just remembered one more tapping thing that I want to show you that's really powerful. Um, but we don't need to pay attention to the energy healing anymore. <laughs> It'll just do its thing. Um, and if you need it, the healing will continue after this video is over and just work with you in whatever way is best, whatever way is most helpful. Um, your higher self is guiding that. And this is, this is something that I find very powerful, especially for myself as a champion warrior um, who has experienced quite a lot of anxiety um, in her life. And I've stepped out of it um, in a way I didn't think was possible when I was younger. Um, and one of the way, one of the things that's helped me is knowing that, you know, we all have a higher self. We all have an aspect of our being that has all of our answers, that understands where we're going, that understands the timing of our life, that is guiding us very powerfully all day, every day. And working with us, you know, as we sleep, when we, you know, when we go to sleep at night, our higher self works with us and helps us heal and sends us, you know, clues and information that then, you know, shows up at the right time during the day and is always guiding us back to ourselves, back to our own inner wisdom, our own intuition, our own kind of the guidance of our own heart. Our higher self is always there for us, always guiding us in that way. And so the more we can clear the the brain haze the brain hamsters and really tune into that the easier everything gets so um just setting an intention for the healing that's coming through now to help with that to help you know help you clear all of the haze and all of the noise and be able to really tune in to your own higher self and receive you know whatever your higher self has for you because your higher self like has such your higher self is like the best parent, the best teacher, the best mentor. It it knows everything about you. It knows where you've been, where you're going. It knows what you want so deeply. It knows when that's going to happen. It knows how it's going to happen. And we don't need to know that. We just, you know, we don't need to see the entire path. We just need to know that we're being guided every step of the way. And the more we follow, you know, our own inner guidance, the easier everything gets. So energy healing to help that really feel possible and present and easy easy it really is the easiest thing we've just been trained out of that um so the tool i wanted to show you all right so this is called um i think it's called like balancing your cortices or something like that it's uh it's a body talk method that is so powerful for easing anxiety there was a time that i was doing this like two three times a day and it was really powerful so what you do is you take your non-dominant hand, so my left hand, and you put it kind of at the base of your skull and you tap over your head, taking deep breaths, your heart, breathing in and out. And you do a few rounds of tapping over your head and your heart. As many rounds as feels good at this position. And then you move your hand up or hairs in the way, you just kind of work with it. So you kind of move, you keep moving, we'll just do the whole thing. So you keep moving your head and breathing, moving your hand up and over your head, breathing as you tap. And then when you're ready, you move it to the next position, up, up your head. And 
And this really, basically what this does is it calms our entire nervous system. It resets our brain, it resets our body, and it brings us out of fight or flight, which is a state most of us spend most of our time in. No wonder everybody's so <laughs> challenged because we're all in, you know, that, oh my God, a tiger's going to eat me. So this shifts us down out of fight or flight and into a place where we can rest, where we can heal, where we can receive that inner guidance. We can receive, you know, that inner knowing that we all have, that inner connection. And so then just keep moving the hand and just kind of tap around it as you breathe. In and out. And move to the top of your head. And then to your forehead. And to complete both hands on the sides of your temples. Take a few more deep breaths. Yeah, it's really good. I feel better. I hope you do too. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm sure there are many things I will think of to share after I turn off this video, but for now it feels like that's, that's good. That's all I've got. I hope that that has been helpful. And uh, those are some tools that will serve you well. Um, and I think the thing with, with tapping is that, you know, you just, you adjust it and you play with it and find a way that it really works for you. Um, because we're all a little bit different about the, the language we use, um, the points that feel really good to tap on. Um, I know that sometimes if I'm, you know, standing in line and feeling a little bit overwhelmed or I feel a big fear or a big emotion or a big thought come up that really is like, ooh, that's a lot. And I don't, I'm in line at the coffee shop. I don't have time to deal with this or I, you know, I can't quite process how to deal with it. I'll just tap right here and it's pretty subtle you can do it in line nobody's gonna really know what you're up to um or you could be like that woman i saw in san francisco was just like tapping as she walked down the street and it was fantastic obviously because i'm talking about it nine years later eight years later said what is time um so yeah just really play with it um you know you can tap and speak you can tap and think you know, silently, you can just tap, you can, you know, you can play with it in any way that you feels good, that feels right for you. Um, this is just, you know, a tool to be adjusted and calibrated for what works best for you. So um, I would love to hear about your experience if, you know, if you feel guided to share or want to share, um, since I guess this is going to be on YouTube, you can just put a little comment in if you want. Um, and anyway, thank you so much. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, you can find, if this was fun, I mean, I don't really do a whole lot with tapping, but I do a lot with energy healing. You can find me at amberadrian.com. And yeah, thank you so much. Lots of love to you all. Mwah.